Hi, welcome to another video. This is the Anglex B Plasma. Working since January, half time on it. So, half time flagship, half time plasma. That was my resolution for the new year. Control G. If we go to articlenexd.com, that's where I want to make a video. We are a little bit behind with all the tutorials on ISWM, JWM. Spectre WM and Ukui, right? But ISWM goes first, meaning, meaning that we have, uh, we're writing this particular article, installation. Just made a video explaining that you have four options in Arclinux to get a desktop. You can install the desktop using Calamaris. We've done that, a new documentation here, a nice video that says the title, how to install ISWM with Calamaris on Articlex D. So we starting with Articlex D. That's number one, option one. And install the desktop using our scripts. That's also Articlex D, but with scripts. The rest is the B and the tweak tool. So the video that's lacking that I should uh, change here is one that I've copy pasted over from GWM. We need to make this video. Okay. So installing JWM Super 7. Let's do a virtual box. We have a template, we clone it. We need to give it another name. So scripts, for example. We add the latest build. This is the newest build that uh, you can build as well. Just follow the tutorials on arclinxb.com. Build your own ISO. That's the project on arclinxb.com. Then you have it too. So these days with that particular ISO, you can install ISWM just by clicking on Calamars. That's not this video, that's a previous video, right? In the article. This video is just skip ahead, just skip, 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 and have an Arclinux D based system, which is an Arch Linux based system for, if we put, we put it in percentages, maybe 99%, if not more, just Arch Linux packages and a few Arch Linux packages that are still there. Right, so like key rings and stuff like that, we need to have that in. But a lot of things um, are out. So it's a very minimal one. Arcmix D is very, very minimal. So a lot of things won't work out of the box, but that's the point, right? To be in control of all the Lego blocks, you choose whatever you like. 3.2.30, next. I'm not gonna choose any of these things. I do need to have something to log into. So usually we take LightM. In short, SDM for Plasma, GDM for GNOME and Budgie, and LXDE for, uh, LXDE can be used for LXDM, LXDM can be used for LXDE, right? So LightDM is normal choice for us, and we're not gonna do this one, so this was the previous video, just click, right? No, we're gonna say, skip everything, skip, 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 skip. We decide what we want on our machine with scripts, and it's not that difficult. If you know how to work with Word, you can work with another editor on Linux, right? Does no, there is no um, difficulty there. So let's uh, wait for this to install, and let's pause the video here. All right, it's done. Meaning you click the button done. We reboot, since this is VirtualBox, we need to say, hey, forget about the ISO, boot from the virtual hard disk. It's always the same step. If you watch one video, you've seen them all. You log in. Okay, where do you live? Asia, America. Hmm. Maybe I better update my mirrors, right? So those are not the Arch Linux mirrors, those are the Arch Linux mirrors. Spread over the world, now they're uh, sorted so that you have the fastest one. Then you update, right? So you get the fastest possible updates. Just with this one. Then you think, what did I choose? I chose LightEM, didn't I? Yeah, did I choose something? No, I didn't choose anything. So it's just a blank computer system. It's, it's as blank as it gets. If we want to have a look at minus R, article Linux, then we can count some numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. 
that's all we have. The welcome map is there, some wallpapers to have a nice look. NeoFetch to just show you our logo. Merrillist is there. Yeah, obviously we need that. Lightium is there. Sure, otherwise we don't have any system. Um, settings there. So these things are there, but basically it's very, very little information there. So the tutorial we're trying to follow now is the one where you say, let's install this. Install Linux D without selecting the display manner or the desktop in Calamares. We've done nothing. Skipped everything. Mirror updates scallop all. Okay. But in the end, this is what we need to do, right? This is a worth a control C, control V if we could copy paste, right? But it's not possible. We just start typing. Once you've learned it, it's, it's, uh, we need to know commands. You need to type and, and learn to use a terminal. It's so powerful. Git clone what? From where? From. Make sure you're secure. GitHub.com. Don't need the W's. Then, where you find it? In the GitHub Arclix D. That's the place. Inside Arclix D, you have Arco, JWM, um, and so on, ISWM, all of them, right? It's just a name. GNU, Plasma. And they all come in. Just the name of the desktop you need to know. And then we get something in ls we have a folder cd arco iswm it's a little bit small maybe but um, i can't make it any bigger but uh, ls you see these colors very vividly all you need to do is run the scripts and the point of these scripts is that you can make them your own it's not supposed to stay the same as what we're using you can add firefox it gimp and inkscape and delete other stuff from it um, but basically you need to run scripts you need if you want, don't want to have bluetooth don't run number 130 if you don't want etc right so these packages will be installed it's the list the basic list that you do need to have something to have a very minimal functional desktop then you need to have need to have this right so as a rule it is interesting to have a look uh, run script 100 and reboot. Um, decide if you want to do that, right? Um, it's trying to be uh, giving a message, the message that, that we have here as well. You can enjoy a virgin Arch Linux look if you want to. And it's sometimes but ugly, right? This is XFCE when it comes to an Arch Linux. This is how we present it. This is Mate. This is our Mate. This is open box. The menu isn't working this is ours plasma and so on right so all these differences and we've done already a video and this is the, the normal iswm with that wallpaper and that bar and this is ours so it continues like that so the idea is to learn about all the packages and all the pieces of the lego box as i call it always right all the packages what packages do you want so scale no scale it's already scaled in this case since it's running scripts. But let's sudo reboot. So sr or sudo reboot is going to boot up. We've just done hum number 100 and let's see what we get. And then we can gradually add more scripts to it and, and see what we have. We like it, we don't like it. We add some stuff, we delete some stuff. But this is your ISWM. This is the standard one. So this is the look not from us, right? This is the look from Arch Linux. This is what is supposed to be the look of 2020, right? So lots of themes here as well. So there's more themes, but we've made changes to it. We said we don't want to be looking at this particular um, style and theme and wallpaper and then stuff. And we decided to make something better, right? That's of course our personal opinion. You decide if you like it better, maybe you like these colors better and so on and so on. Lots of stuff. So this is super freedom. Article XD, you install packages you like. CD, Arco, ISWM, LS. Here are other scripts you like to run. If you want to have our look, it's often this one. Everywhere where it says Arco Linux, of course, right? So Arco Linux, 
addition this is article nix here as well and so on so the tutorial here says well if you want to do some more you can add uh, 500 and 600 and it will give you an article nix look and feel so we are bundling these guys in there the d menu is going to be there we do love our d menu and so on it's too quick to read but you edit the files you go check the files with an editor and we've not installed an editor on this one this is still like i said it's very minimal arclinks d so, so you go backman minus s and you start adding stuff in this case i like to have sublime text or atom or visual studio and so on um what was i thinking so i've done this and that 500 600 and that's the last one i would like to run to conclude the video these are oracle linux packages this is our work right this is what we um what what what's effort the effort we've put in this is the soul of the new desktop iswm that's the look we want to go for scale is a good idea since some of the stuff is in etc scale so we have already this reflex uh, that stuff is written in etc scale we should reboot just to make sure everything loads we could have logged out logged in right but it's so fast on ssds it doesn't really matter logging in look at that this is our look right and we can go inside the menus we have not installed a lot as you can see these things are on here and that's it and then you install more you install whatever you like is there already a terminal we have our terminal termite is there already a browser no so nothing happens is there already a file manager tuner is available right so it's very still very minimal one but it's the look like we want to have it with the arc theme which is here lots of themes came in suddenly because we added them to iswm all right enjoy article linux d it's uh, one of the most powerful isos there are there there is because you can install uh, packages uh, desktops through calamars but also afterwards so it's really 100% uh, freedom. Enjoy!